How y'all doing, family? This is Chris Rob Media TV, and I'm coming to you with this article in the news. Um, family, I'm coming to you from the usnews.com. It says, Judge says Nobel for the DEA agent in extraordinary drug case. A judge said Drug Enforcement Administration agent must remain behind bars while awaiting trial on charges of joining the agency to help a violent drug organization. This came out January 7, 2019 by Larry uh, Newminster, Associated Press, New York. A drug enforcement administration agent must re remain behind bars while awaiting trial on charges that he joined the agency to benefit a violent drug or organization. A judge decided. So this motherfucker is he playing both sides. He a DEA agent, drug enforcement, and he, you know, he uh, 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 on the other side as well, you know, talking to them and shit like that and trying to see how he can benefit and make some money and shit like that, like all of them do. They all do this shit. The U.S. District Judge Jesse M. Furman called the allegation by prosecutors that Fernando Gomez served as a double agency to help drug dealers quite inflammatory and extraordinary. He said a Chicago magistrate judge who concluded Gomez could await trial at home on electronic monitoring had not been told specifics by prosecutors about the evidence against the 41 year old Chicago resident. Furman, who will preside over the trial in September, Said the evidence seemed strong, and the proper and the probability of conviction was high. Oh yeah, so he fucked. His ability to live a double life, if the allegations are true, it certainly raises in my mind a fairly extraordinary level of deviousness. Ferdman said, but they acting like he the only one that do this shit. Mostly all these fucking. Uh, special agents and shit like that. They do that shit so they can get money because they don't get that. They don't get paid that much. The job that they're doing, they don't get paid that much. They're trying to have uh, retirement lives and all this extra shit so they can retire extra early. They, they, you know, motherfuckers is crooked. Gomez was arrested December 11 at his uh, Chicago office on narcotics conspiracy and weapons charges they were added to the 2016 indictment against individuals alleged to be members of LA organization D narcotraficants unidos prosecutors said the drug organizations blame and several murders damn sent cocaine from Puerto Rico to the Bronx shit said Gomez they said Gomez conspired from at least 2006 until about 2016. God damn, 10 years? 10 years, huh? To violate narcotic laws by distributing, distributing cocaine, Gomez was working as a detective for the Investment Police Department in Illinois uh, when he got firearms from drug dealers and gave them to uh, a co-defendant in Puerto Rico, they added. According to the indictment, Gomez then joined the DEA to help members of the drug conspiracy invade prosecution by law enforcement. Gomez, handcuffed and shackled on Monday, pleaded not guilty. If convicted, he faces up to life in prison. Oh yeah, he fucked. He is fucked. His defense... Attorney Thomas Durkin argued for bail, saying his client was not a flight risk and was a law-abiding citizen who served six years in the U.S. Marines. Who give a shit? All that shit go out the window. Nobody ain't trying to hear that shit, man. You over here doing all kind of cocaine deals and firearm deals and everything else, narcotics and everything. He talking about some oh he law abiding said, man, get the fuck out of here. Shit go out the window. That goes straight out the window. He said it would be harder to prepare Gomez's defense if he was detained. This is a case that is defendable. 
He should be allowed to defend it, Durkin said. Durkin said his client knew of the investigations and had plenty of time to flee before he was arrested if he was so inclined. A prosecutor told the judge that Gomez thought he was above the law. He sure did thought he was above the law, and he got his ass and would never be charged. Yeah, he thought he, was, he never was going to be charged. You doing all this shit, and you ain't, you know what I'm saying, looking behind your back and making sure, you know what I'm saying, there ain't nobody paying attention. He was like, fuck it, I'm the damn drug enforcement uh, DEA. Mm -hmm. He didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Durkin said Gomez had a network of $80,000 and no splashly purchase that would reflect he was making money on the side by assisting drug dealers. He was hiding that money. Come on, man. He ain't, he ain't gotta say everything that he was doing. He was hiding some of he was hiding some of that damn money. Come on, man. Living large, she can barely afford uh, us, the lawyer said. He can afford it. He can afford it. You're getting eighty thousand. He can afford it. But uh family, another dirty D DEA agent, drug and agent, you know, trying to make some money and doing all this. Uh that back alley shit. So, family, y'all let me know what y'all think. This is not a surprise. Because a lot of them doing it, but a lot of them getting, getting busted. So, y'all let me know what y'all think, family. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Donate to the PayPal. Hope y'all have a great night. Love y'all, family. And I'm out. And I'll be back with another one.